There are a lot of lessons to be learned in 13 Reasons Why Season 2. So in this review, we're gonna talk about Tyler as well as the evolutionary psychology about revenge because understanding how the brain actually works might actually prevent future tragedies from happening. is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and thank you so much again for all the new subscribers and stuff like that i i'm really glad that i'm able to take something out of pop culture and maybe inform some people and teach some people how to actually improve their mental health all right so i'm sorry that i've been doing a bunch of videos on 13 reasons why but there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from it so i'm gonna break down some evolutionary psychology and explain how the human mind actually works so let's take Tyler for example and looking at what happened in season one okay this kid he's a loner he's a loser he's getting picked on beat up and all sorts of stuff it carries on into season two then we see him make these attempts towards revenge okay so before I jump into what we all know happens like revenge is something that is wired into our DNA okay evolutionary psychology is a fascinating fascinating form of psychology because it explains how our brains work based on evolution, all right? So, let's take a trip back in time real quick, all right? So back in the hunter-gatherer days where you had like tribes, you know, all over the place, well, we needed, we needed this sense of revenge. That's why sometimes anger feels so good. That's sometimes why revenge seems even better. Because if you think back back in the day, say some dude from another tribe, he comes over and he steals your food or he steals some stuff, right, from your house or he steals your mate. If you didn't do anything, there's two things that can happen. Okay, either this dude comes back from the other tribe to take more stuff of yours, or the people in your own tribe, they start taking stuff from you, right? So this is why the brain is designed to get angry and want revenge. It's something that we long for, that we yearn for, because if you go up and you square up with this dude and say, what, what's up? And even if you go to blows, even if you lose, it's sending a message to both tribes that you're somebody not to be messed with, right? So that's why, we we get excited when we get angry sometimes even though it might not feel like it it is this kind of passionate thing you know what i mean but in today's world, there's so many things that our brains are wired to do, like for example, anxiety, which don't really pay off for 2018. So when we look at Tyler's situation and getting bullied and making attempts at revenge but failing, this is what led him to his breaking point. On top of what happened in the bathroom scene, we all know about that, I'll quit talking about that specifically, but what leads a guy to making the decision that Tyler was about to do at the end of uh, season two, right? It's because there's so Something inside of him that is telling him you have to show these people what's what's up you got to show people that you are not to be messed with the problem is is that this is an illusion of a victory so there's so many times when we think we're victorious by getting revenge but let's think about how that would have played out had clay not intervened Tyler would have you know gone crazy in the school he would have either died or he would have gone to jail for the rest of his life purely based on this instinct to show people that he's not somebody to be messed with, all right? And this is one of the biggest reasons why it's important to learn different ways to manage anger and calm down and take a step back. Like, I'm sure all of you can leave comments down below and let me know what you think better alternatives for Tyler would have been. Like, I don't know, talking to an adult, like when his parents came in and he didn't say anything, going to the police, transferring schools, but like, I know a lot of you out there empathize with Tyler, and here's the lesson to be learned, okay? So many of you watching this, so many of you watching this right now, you've bullied, you've been the bully. I know I've been. Back in high school, I was kind of a jerk, and a lot of it was because I had my own stuff going on, right? But when we understand how the brain works, maybe we back up off people just a little bit, because what happens is we push them to a point where their natural survival instinct is to lash out and get revenge, okay? so. I hope this kind of explains why this happens. Um, I won't get into details of all the tragedies that happen all over our country on a regular basis, but when you look at these people, most of the time something was happening. Is it an excuse? 
absolutely not. This is the worst thing that anybody can do. But the next time that you're at school or you're at work and you're thinking about publicly humiliating or shaming somebody, just think about how their brain works and how they're actually wired for revenge too, all right? So anyways, I hope this explained a little bit about the psychology of what's going on with Tyler. And please share this video. If you and your friends are watching 13 Reasons Why season two, share this. I'd love to know your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below. Let me know how you avoid getting revenge. Let me know how you deal with anger. Let me know how you deal with getting bullied, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you've miss any of my 13 reasons why videos, boom, click or tap on that playlist right there, okay? So anyways, thanks again so much for watching. Don't be a bully, and I'll see you next time.